So now let's see how we can work around with filters inside of CapCut Desktop Editor. So over here, you can see that I have two video clips over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around under filters right here. And here you can see that there's different filters that you can choose from. Effects is much more intense and filter is much more softer, which changes out the colors and brightness of the image instead of adding an effect to it. So over here, there's different sort of effects that you can bring in, as you can see right here, like there's different styles and life and so forth, as you can see. So let's just go around onto food effect, as you can see right here, and bring in this effect over here. Once you do that, you can see that the color sharpens out a bit, and you can go around and decrease and affect this effect a bit right here. And it shows up from where the timeline cursor is right here, just like this. You cannot go around and keep videos on top of fe uh, effect, yeah, but the effect affects all the layers beneath it right here, just like this. If I were to go around onto, let's say, for example, Barbie right here, then you got the Barbie effect right here, the pinkish effect. And you can go around and decrease and increase the strength right here, just like this. You can go for retro look and add in multiple effects like this as well. So let's just go around and resize it. And I'm going to go around and bring in, let's say, for example, this retro effect right here. And then this that is what you have, as you can see. That is the effect that um, that is the filter that you see right here. And the filter don't have much control, but just the strength right here. So that is how you can uh, add in filters inside of CapCut Desktop Editor and give the clips the look you want. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.